Hi everyone, it's Ryan from Fox Tech. Today, I'm going to show you how to control your kid's iPad and monitor everything on it. If you're a parent, ensuring that your child's digital experience is safe and appropriate is probably a top priority. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to set up an iPad specifically for children and how to use the built-in screen time features to control and monitor their usage effectively. Let's get started. If you're setting up an iPad for your child, the best time to configure it for a kid is right at the beginning, when you're setting up the iPad for the first time. Apple provides an option during the initial setup to configure the device entirely for a child. This setup is designed to be comprehensive, making sure that every aspect of the device is tailored for a child's use, from content restrictions to app limits. It's the ultimate children's setup, ensuring that your child is using the iPad in a way that aligns with your expectations. If you've already set up the iPad but want to switch to this ultimate children's setup, you can still do so. What you'll need to do is back up the iPad first to ensure you don't lose any important data. Then, reset and erase the device, and finally, set it up again from the backup, this time selecting the option to configure it as a children's iPad. This approach ensures that every setting is adjusted appropriately for a child's use. However, before you go through the process of resetting and erasing the iPad, I'd recommend starting with the Screen Time features. Screen Time is a powerful tool that's already built into the iPad, and it might offer everything you need to control your child's usage without the need for a complete reset. To start using Screen Time, open the Settings app on the iPad you want to manage. Scroll down until you find Screen Time and tap on it. If you haven't set it up before, you'll be guided through the setup process. Follow the on-screen instructions to enable Screen Time. Once Screen Time is set up, you'll have a range of options to manage your child's iPad usage. For example, you can restrict certain apps or even set time limits for how long they can use particular apps each day. This is especially useful for managing things like social media or games, which can easily consume more time than you'd like. Additionally, screen time allows you to set up downtime periods. During these times, only specific apps and functions that you allow can be used. This is perfect for ensuring that the iPad isn't used during homework time or late at night when your child should be sleeping. You can also limit content by setting age-appropriate restrictions and even control whether your child can install or delete apps. One of the best features of Screen Time is the ability to set a passcode specifically for Screen Time settings. This passcode should be different from the one used to unlock the iPad. By doing this, you ensure that no changes can be made to the Screen Time settings without your permission. This way, even if your child is tech savvy, they won't be able to bypass the restrictions you've put in place. And there you have it. These are the key ways to control your child's iPad usage and ensure that their digital experience is safe and balanced. Whether you go for the full children's setup from the start or use screen time to gradually implement controls, these tools give you the flexibility to manage the iPad in a way that works best for your family. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials I really appreciate your support. See you guys later.